Good afternoon, family, friends, community, Penticton Vineyard. It's Mike here, Thursday midweek update. I want to take a quick moment and just look at a passage of scripture that last week and again this week and uh, again specifically this morning um, as we were praying for the church just came up and came alive and we were pushing into the word of God and contending for what God's word says to come true in our day. And so looking in 43 or Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19, it says, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. And this is not about the past being wrong or bad, but right now, what is God doing? And today, in with everything going on, everything we're involved in, uh, what is God doing in the midst of today? And I'm looking and I'm asking, God, I want to see. Let the community see what you are doing. Let us perceive it. Let us understand it. It is what we need right now. God, what are you doing? We need to know it. And and the word dwell, it's like, okay, I don't want to look with intention and dream and long for what was. I'm going, God, I want to look with attention, with vision, with focus, with purpose at what you're doing today. And I, because um, he's doing a new thing. And I'm going, God, what are you doing in these days? And I'm longing for the new things of God. And I am so, so thankful for the past of this church. And as I dig into the history of the church and as I look at it and read it and hear the stories, I am blown away with the foundation of prayer and commitment and faithfulness that has been laid here, that we get to continue on moving forward in. And I'm so thankful. And at the same time, I'm going, God, thank you for this foundation. Now let us see what we are to build and how we are to walk in today's age, in today's time. And I love these verses that says, now it springs up, don't you perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness. Jesus is the way in the wilderness. And, the, and scripture is full of men and women, and at times Jesus walking in the wilderness. He is the way. And if you are feeling as though in the wilderness, we are praying, God, come and lead and be with us as we're walking in these times. And the next part is streams in the wasteland. And, you know, if you're feeling in the wasteland, that you would feel the refreshing stream of God. And in Psalm 65, 9, it, it talks about the streams of God provide for people. That in today's time and in the way we are having to live, we just ask that the streams of God would come provide for you body, soul, mind, and strength what you need, the stream of God would come refresh and would fill and would be enough for you. And so that is a little piece of what we've been, I've been praying through for a couple weeks and as a team we are praying through this morning for our community, that we would walk and see God, what he's doing in these days, and we'd be refreshed by the stream of God. And so bless you. I'd say let's keep praying into this, God, what are you doing? Let us see let us walk in it, that we perceive it in these times. One other thing I want to bring quick your attention quickly to is um, kids clubs. They are running. We love our kids clubs and they are happening. Go to the website. Something special though, we have a spring break kids club. And so it's they're doing two one-day kids clubs. This is for kindergarten to grade three. These guys normally don't get to come to kids clubs, so this is awesome. It is on either March 17th or March 18th from 9.30 to 11.30. You can go to the website. You can call the office to sign up. There's going to be fun. There's going to be games. There's going to be laughing and screaming. They're also going to be practicing the Easter song. It's going to be awesome. Doing some recording. So if you have any questions around this, you want to get your kid in, you have to register. Go to the website. Call the office. We would love to sign you up. Pastor Judy would love to see you there. We would love to have a whole pile of kids in the building. It would be loads of fun. This is going to be a great time. So, kids, we hope to see you there. Adults, family, even kids, let's keep praying that we would see what God is doing in these days and he would bring it forth in our community. So, 
Church, we are in this together. It takes all of us together. And I'm so thankful for the faithfulness and the commitment to prayer and to community that is here. And we will get through this time together. So bless you, family, friends, community, and we'll see you on Sunday. Take care. Bye.